Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can use ZRemesher to perform polygon reduction and retopology for your ZBrush models. On the screen right now we have a pirate character made up of 40 million quads. If we export this model to Character Creator for Skeleton Binding without first doing some polygon reduction, Accurig will give us a notification that it has exceeded the recommended number of faces. Generally, if you need to bind a skeleton to your ZBrush model, you'll want to make sure you have a triangle count of 600,000 or less, or a quad count of 300,000 or less. If your model exceeds that, the binding process can take a super long time and may even crash. Therefore, we want to keep our geometry light when going through the skeleton binding process. Let's take a look then at how to use the ZRemesher plugin to do this. The process is the same regardless of how many subtools you have, but in this video we're going to focus on the body mesh, so I'm going to hide all of the other subtools, then duplicate the body and rename it to low mesh. Once that's done, I'll hide the original body and expand the geometry section to find the Z remesher. Here I'm going to select the half option and deselect adapt, then proceed to click on draw polyframe and then on Z remesher. What this will do is reduce the poly count by half, and you can see the difference by viewing the operation history. I can repeat this process multiple times by clicking the Z remesher button consecutive times, and each time it will again reduce the poly count by half. After a few times, we're all the way down to just over 6,000 polys, which makes our model much lighter and easier to manage. From here, we can click on the Divide button to add further subdivision levels. Please note that higher subdivision levels will provide better results when transferred. Here, you can see that at subdivision level 7, we have almost 25 million polygons, while at level 1, we only have around 6,000. From there, let's make both the low mesh and original body subtools visible. With the low mesh subtool selected, I'll then go down to project and up the distance value a bit to 0.1 to adjust it closer to the original surface. You can also choose deselect color if you only want to see the model details here. From there, click on project all to process. Once completed, we can then hide the original body mesh and we can see that the mesh details have been successfully applied to the low mesh subtool. From there, we can see that by adjusting the subdivision slider, we can cycle through all of the different levels, with each subdivision level still maintaining their previously defined poly count. We can now delete the original body mesh and repeat the same process with all of the other subtools to get a character closer to 300,000 quads so that it can be sent to Character Creator for skeleton binding. Simply click on the All button to send all of the subtools to Character Creator. Finally, in CC, you can see the total number of triangles is under 600,000, which makes it ideal for the skeleton binding process in Accurig. To learn more about this process in Accurig, please check out the dedicated tutorials. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to check out our Reusing Courses page for a whole library of tutorials organized by topic. I'll see you in the next video.